My passion for playlists all began in high school when I was trying to impress this girl who really liked music. Armed with my cassette recorder, I would listen to the FM radio and capture songs, crafting playlists that I thought that she would love. Soon, her friends lined up for their own mixtapes, turning me to the go-to mixtape guy in high school. This experience led me to countless hours of listening to radio stations, fueling my fascination for radio and playlist curation. And little did I know, but this was the stepping stone to where I became a professional playlist curator. There was always a difference between radio DJs and club DJs and wedding DJs. Some chose to go this path. Me, I was more interested in how songs would go up and down the radio charts. And soon after, club and wedding DJs would come to me trying to find those radio hits so they could have that edge in their sets. Radio often sets trends, but DJs discover and amplify underground beats. In my radio days, I noticed that there was a big gap between what was charting and what works well at live events. My mission became to merge these worlds, to bring the intuition of a DJ to the science of radio hits. Understanding the crowd demographics, the nature of the event, and the energy level is key to successful DJing. Today's audiences can be more diverse than ever. This can be overwhelming, but also an opportunity for DJs. DJs are dealing with their own TikTok challenge, and I'm not just talking about a choreographed dance. In the era of short attention spans, how do we keep our dance floor engaged? Playlists aren't just a list of songs. They're tools to use to swiftly adapt to changing moods and preferences. See, choosing the right songs involves more than just beats. It involves tempo, lyrics, and now, more importantly than ever, nostalgia. Lately, now more than ever, people have not had an opportunity to congregate around music. We've not listened to the same radio station together in decades, and it's very rare that everybody on the dance floor knows that song that the DJ is playing. If you think about it, we're all sort of in our own little Spotify bubble, creating our own playlists, and this is challenging for the DJ because how can we find that one song that everybody likes. Music distribution is constantly evolving. We had vinyl, we had CDs, and now we're going from MP3s to streaming. And this is the way that people consume music and it's constantly changing. So in the streaming era, playlists have become the new unit of musical consumption, replacing the singular MP3. The playlist itself offers a level of customization and personalization that a single song could never replicate. Playlists reflect our current cultural shift towards curated experiences and personalized soundtracks for every occasion. For DJs, understanding and leveraging this shift is key to staying connected with your audience. So rather than throwing a bunch of songs into a playlist, let's use a little bit of radio science to create the perfect playlist. And it all starts with the way radio stations classify their tracks. You may or may not know this, but there is an ebb and a flow to the way radio programmers Put music on the air. Certain songs are labeled current, recurrent, or gold. Let's explore what that means. Currents are the freshest tracks. These rule the airwaves right here and now. For DJs, they are the pulse of the current music scene. And at the time of this recording, Doja Cat, Paint the Town Red, is in current rotation on most radio stations. Now, recurrents were once chart toppers. Not as hot, but still loved. Recurrence will offer a blend of familiarity and freshness. And a good example of a recurrent today would be Beyonce's Cuff It, a song that was once huge, but not quite classic yet. It has yet to stand the test of time. And speaking of time, that is a gold category. Timeless classics that never fail. For a DJ, these are your secret weapon for instant crowd connection. A really good example of a gold song today would be Calvin Harris and Dua Lipa's One Kiss. Now, using this framework helps in creating the perfect playlist. It's a mix of new hits, familiar favorites, and evergreen tracks. Keep that framework in mind when you think about putting a playlist together. A unique approach that I developed ensures that every track hits the mark. We're talking now about the 60-40 DJ method. A track must have at least a popularity and danceability score of 60% or higher to make the cut, ensuring the audience is recognizing the song and is engaged with it. Prioritizing tracks with high danceability scores keeps the energy high and the dance floor full. 40% is for the energy and the mood. This maintains an upbeat and varied approach to your playlist. So to recap, you've got 60% danceability, 60% popularity, 40% energy, 
and mood. If you stay above that threshold, every song that segues will be a perfect hit. You might be thinking to yourself, how do you even find these kind of scores? Well, I can help you out. Check this out. I'm going to link in the description musicstacks.com. Now, this is a free website where you can type in practically any song you can imagine, and it's going to give you all the factors that you never thought you needed. For example, I've typed in Bruno Mars 24K Magic, and it starts by giving you the length, the tempo, and the key of every song, essentials for most professional DJs. But if you scroll down a little further, Music Stacks offers up a metric score of popularity, danceability, energy, and mood. And as you can see by this example, 24K Magic is still relevant with your audience if you played it today. It's instantly recognizable, danceable, and it absolutely sets the tone. To recap, the 60-40 method creates seamless and engaging sets tailored for diverse audiences. Now for the professional DJ, your tools of the trade may include Rekordbox, Serato, Virtual DJ. Allow me to show you a few hacks to make the perfect playlist yourself. For example, did you know that you can harmonically mix with Serato? Yeah, simply open up your library, click Command, Control, and left click, and this is not only gonna columnize your music in BPM, but also in harmony. For the longest time, we've been organizing our music in order of BPM, but now we can add an extra layer by putting your songs not only in speed, but also in harmony. With inside the Rekordbox DJ software, you can click on any song and then display the related tracks in a separate window. This shows you all the songs that are mixable within a certain range of BPM, along with a perfect harmonic match. Now with Virtual DJ, I could go on and on. There are so many ways to hack this software that I could make a separate video on this altogether. But if you were just to get started, do not sleep on the add-on section found on the Virtual DJ website. Most importantly, check out the 2021 update of the My Library feature, available for PC and Mac. This essential tool for your Virtual DJ database creates smart folders to quickly locate tracks in your collection. Great playlists, like great stories, have a beginning, a middle, and end. Examining the playlists of renowned curators can unlock new insights and approaches. Understanding how themes and narratives are woven into successful playlists, how the right playlist can take an audience on an emotional and musical journey. And that's why stepping into the minds of top curators sparks creativity and innovation in our own sets. For example, some of my favorite are DJ Vice out of Las Vegas, DJ Scooter, world-renowned battle champion DJ ADMC, Jason Janai, the legendary Fat Man Scoop, Justin the DJ. If you have yet to catch any of those DJs live in the mix, pay close attention to how they tell their story. Well, if you found this video helpful so far, make sure to click like and subscribe, but we're just getting into the highlight of today's video, and that would be the secrets of my playlist. Four free tools that I think you're really gonna enjoy. And it all begins with the DJ Playlist Group. Nearly 50,000 members chiming in daily with their favorite song requests, what songs they should add to their playlist, seeking help from curators just like you, and this is an absolutely free community that you can join right now with a link in the description. The DJ Playlist Group, it's free to join, and I can't wait for you to hop in. Next, Magic Playlist. Let me show you how this works. We can get inspired, we can discover and create, featured in Product Hunt, Lifehacker, CNET, even Gizmodo has written up about this. But we'll type our favorite song and then create the perfect playlist based on, yeah, you guessed it, simply one song. I've typed in 24K Magic by Bruno Mars and here's what it offers up so far. Not too bad, I like what I'm seeing here. It sticks with the genre and definitely complements the song I typed in. But what if I wanna move some things around? You certainly can. I can even delete or preview right there from the desktop, but if I really wanna get finite and detailed, I can slide all the metrics with our handy tool. Maybe I can make it more mainstream. I definitely want it more danceable. Yeah, maybe a little bit more EDM style by sliding the instrumental. I definitely wanna make this a, a happier, more cheerful vibe, and definitely much more popular. So if I update it, yeah, it's made it so much better. I love this playlist. And I can save this to Spotify with ease and now waiting for you to play. That's Magic Playlist, and you can have it now by heading over to magicplaylist.co. A link is in the description. DJ.chat is the world's first chat bot for DJs, and it does so much more than build playlists. I'll show you how it works. Uh, I've got a father-daughter school dance coming up, so I'm gonna ask it for the best songs for father-daughter dances. Now, this is tapping into the turbo version of ChatGPT4, 
the latest that offers up the most current results, and so far it's doing a pretty good job. I like this so far. There you go, more song suggestions for curated crates and playlists, thanks to DJ.chat. But we also offered a few more cool, engaging opportunities here. For example, the gears and controllers section. Let's pretend like my Serato is crashing at the moment. I wanna see if I can solve this. I'll give some details like I'm using a MacBook Air 2022. All right, let's see what it does. Here we go, it's offering all these troubleshooting options here. Things I never would have thought of were it not for the help of DJ.chat. Let's do one more. This is good for people who get hung up on what to say on the microphone. Let's say you're at a wedding and you're about to do a bouquet toss. What do you say? It gives you not just one script, but three scripts to match the tone. A formal script, a friendly script, an engaging script, and you can rip and read. No more blanking on what to say. The wedding MC scripts is another plugin you can find within DJ.chat. Again, also free, DJ.chat. The link is in the comments. Brand new this year, it's the banger button. Let me show you how it works. The banger button sits right here in your dock. You click it open soon after you open up your Serato. And let's just pretend like we're at an event, we're playing a song, we're getting distracted, someone's coming up for a request and you completely forget what you're about to play next. If you click on the banger button, you'll see that it sits on the right hand side, a very lightweight installation that now gives you all the songs you could ever want in a perfect harmonic and tempo match. Again, leaning into that 60-40 approach, every song is a hit. And you can even do it on the second deck. You're getting real-time recommendations on the songs that you're playing in the moment, copy and paste into your Serato. If you have it, you can drag and drop. The banger button is currently free for all Crate Hackers members. Liking what you see so far? You ain't seen nothing yet. Crate Hackers 4.0 is arriving this year. This is big. No more manual music organization. With Lightning Exports into any DJ platform, you can say goodbye to dragging and dropping. Seamlessly integrate your Spotify, SoundCloud, and Shazam songs. Explore our vast library of crates, categorized by BPM, key, danceability, and mood. Easily blend songs in mixable order and back up everything to the cloud. Basically, Crate Hackers simplifies your DJ life. Organize your music faster than ever before. Effortlessly create professional sets on the fly. Unleash your creativity with intelligent features made for DJs. This is more than software. It's a mission to revolutionize DJ culture. Crate Hackers 4.0 is arriving in 2024, and right now the most stable version is Crate Hackers 3.9.6. If you want to take it for a spin, you can have that as well as the banger button for seven days. Test it out, see if it's the right fit, and you can take it obligation free courtesy of the link below. Yeah, that's right. Every single tool you've seen so far is absolutely free just for watching this video. The future of music is constantly evolving. Staying ahead means adapting and innovating. I truly believe that emerging technologies and data-driven analytics will change and redefine the art of DJing. It is so important to embrace change. The importance of being open to new trends, tools, and techniques in this ever-changing music industry is going to give you a leg up against your competition. I want you to commit to ongoing experimentation and, more importantly, education, like watching videos on this channel. This will help you stay relevant and ahead of the curve. Take a moment and try to envision the future of playlist creation and DJing more specifically. How can we shape it together? The future of DJing lies in collaboration and shared insights. We have the unique opportunity to bridge the gaps between genres, generations, and technologies. We need to come together often to discuss music. I truly believe that DJs do not chat about music enough they tend to harbor their secrets, and I believe if we're going to keep this industry going, we need to pass this down to future generations. If we could all come together and contribute, share, and innovate, together we can redefine the art of the playlist. My name is Aaron Trailer. I am the co-founder of Crate Hackers, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe so you can catch the next video, and try Crate Hackers for seven days free. Everything we shared in this video is available now through the Crate Hackers website. I encourage you to try us out for seven days. If anything, join the conversation in our playlist group or in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Happy hacking.